All right, how's it going tonight, guys? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're checking out a game called Dungeon Defenders Awaken. And uh, this is a third-person action uh, strategy game where essentially you build uh, defenses as enemies come at you and then you get to attack them as they come at you. So it's a tower defense. Tower game. defense. Sure, kind but of it, like a tower defense. But in third person. But in third person. Oh, I like the color it sure one. Sure looks like a tower defense. <laughs> it does look like a tower defense. <laughs> so it is kind of like a bit, a bit like a roguelike tower defense too. So there's different levels and as you go through them, uh, you can make them harder difficulties and stuff like that. If you fail, you just redo it sort of idea. Um <laughs> And, I mean, the story is a little sparse. It's kind of like, hey, there's this castle, and you're a hero. And kill things. There's bad things coming at the castle. Defend it. <laughs> so yeah. why isn't it called Castle Defenders? Because you're always in the dungeon. They're always trying to come up from the dungeon. Yeah, you're in the castle dungeon. So you're that defending the dungeon. Um, <laughs> this does not look like a game that would have a story. Yeah, like, there's really not much. It's super sparse. Um, I will say I was I was interested because you do get some permanent upgrades. So you do level up your character and like you get gear and stuff like that. So like the modern roguelike, not the old school. Yeah, exactly. So it's yeah. it's not it's not a strict roguelike or anything like that. Um, and and same thing. It's not like a strict we'll say tower defense because some of the tower defense games you also don't get power ups and stuff like that. It kind of looks like a mobile game right now. Uh, I mean... Is it free to play with I'll, a lot I'll, of... I'll admit it's, it probably is a mobile game as <laughs> well. Um, so, I'll ask you guys to start, I guess. Like, so far with the art style, what do you guys think? I mean, I, I like colorful, like, simple art styles. They age pretty well. They You can do them on a low budget without needing to have, like, a great art team, right? Sure. Which is what I imagine the situation they would have been in for this. The, obviously not a triple-A game. Perfect. So, um, like, looking at it here, I'm, I'm obviously in, in some part of the dungeon. I have to defend that crystal. Now, I'm in what's called the build phase right now, where I get to put up some of my towers and stuff like that. And uh, there will be those five entrances where enemies are going to start coming at me. And I'm still figuring out some of the controls here, so yeah. bear with me if my character forms around and is kind of like just doing random stuff. It almost looks a bit like a 3D torchlight. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It has that same kind of like feeling to it. Yeah. Um, and then once I put down some towers and stuff like that, you can then activate and put it into the, uh, the combat phase, which you guys will see here in a bit. Yeah. So you activate the combat phase, it's not like on a timer where it's like, oh, you ran out of time to set up defenses. Later, um, waves will be on the timer, but the first part here where, where you're starting out for the beginning, you do have kind of unlimited time. Um, yeah, a certain amount of resources, I assume, to just buy. Yes, things yeah, it's all on. based on like gold, right? Yeah. So like as, or crystals, and as you kill enemies and stuff like that, you will gain some crystals. And you can put more things up. Right, and and you have options like the the playstyle will depend on the class you pick. Like I picked the knight in this case, but there's also like the monk and the caster and stuff. Yeah, put some pants um, on. <laughs> hey man, they didn't give me pants to start with. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like the thing is, I haven't played a huge amount of tower defense games, but I'm pretty sure I know exactly how this game is played already, which is can be a good thing. You know, you know what you're getting, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so you can you can play play the style of like okay I'm gonna put up a bunch of like blockades on one end and then like actually physically go to the other end and attack um, yeah, yeah. or I could put up a bunch of towers and like focus everything to the middle or something like that so there's a, a few different strategies on like how you'd play I I will say one thing it's not gonna be the most exciting to to watch and or play I'll be honest single player. I think this is really meant to be multiplayer. It, it, it looks like a multiplayer game because you'll have people in multiple spots and you can coordinate stuff to too. Active, like yeah. it, it just was not, um, I'll say that interesting as a single player game. So if you're trying to play the single player, I can already just say don't. Like it's not going to be fun for you. That makes sense. All right, well, I so, mean, it can be exciting, but it's just like you're still setting up. Yeah, so now I, I have finally finished the setup, and uh, we've started the wave here. So enemies are going to start coming through the doors, and of course the blockades are going to block them. It, I don't have any turrets up at the moment, so it's really up to me to run down there and just like 
discriminant ju- indiscriminate justice at this point, right? Uh, combat is super simple. You essentially have like your main attack button. You can jump, and you might have like a special ability, one or two special abilities. Now, as you level up, you do unlock newer special or more special abilities, and it is based off of like your class. So for me, I start with like a shield throw. But then you will get like a, a spin attack and other things like that. So now we we see here we killed all the enemies in the first wave, and now we have a little bit of time here to set up for like the second wave. And I've got a little bit more money, so I can set up some uh, some actual ballistas. I mean, this all makes sense for what I would expect from a tower defense game, and just in general, this like type of progression where you get more resources. The waves are going to increase, right? The first one was only. Seven enemies from what I saw, now there's 18. Uh, so, like, you're gonna need better equipment, you're gonna need better gear, you need... To, it looks like you can level up, so I'm assuming your stats or something go up as well. Yep. And then that'll make the waves a little bit better. As you can see, like, I got a chest there for the first thing, and look, I got a lightsaber as a weapon. So I can now pick that up and equip that. Oh, somebody's gonna get sued. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, so, I mean, again, there's not going to be much more than this. It's going to be very repetitive seeing the same kind of thing. So it's going to be pretty repetitive seeing kind of the same kind of, uh, of combat style that you guys saw there a few moments ago. Uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, give our final thoughts here on... Quick question, though. Is there like a boss wave? Yes. At the end, there usually is a boss wave. Um, or every like five to ten waves there might be a boss wave so for uh, later levels you might have multiple bosses that come at you um, the bosses are usually larger versions of the smaller enemies uh, and they might have like one special ability that you can like avoid and stuff like that okay so I think the the whole idea is just get together with friends get to the higher waves where maybe it's a little bit more frantic to get really the experience from the game there yep all right so yeah now that you guys have seen kind of a first taste of this, would this be something that you would continue playing? Oh, I probably would touch this. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't mind tower defenses, but I've, I've never really enjoyed the 3D ones. I, I mostly like the top-down ones. So yeah, it's just, it's I It's not understand my that. game. That's just the thing. Fair. What about you, Sandra? Well, I could see myself playing this if I had friends that were playing it. I'm also not much of a tower defense pl- uh, player. But I do actually like the idea of like a third person one where I can potentially, if I'm with friends, let them handle a little bit more of like, say, the building or the strategizing, which is the parts that I'm not that big on, Mm -hmm. and then just participate in the combat and hacking and slashing with friends and having a little bit of fun. But that's a very situational uh, uh, circumstance. So I would see myself continuing to play this if I had a group of friends playing it. But yeah, like you said, I wouldn't play this by myself. And to be fair, uh, you know, I'll be unanimous with that. I did not continue playing this. I think it hinges on that multiplayer feature. Like, if I was playing with friends, just as you mentioned, it might be a lot more enjoyable. But single player, it just doesn't have what it takes. 